a very, very good entrepreneurship Tuesday morning to you. You are watching Why in the Morning on White 5 4 channel. I hope you did catch that interview with Juan Barry Moses and you have met the inventor. But it's about time we meet someone else who is more involved in leadership, marketing, social media influence, procurements, financial training. He's, he's, he's a jack of all trades. And it's about time I introduced the founder of Alpha Maestros. He goes by the name of Sir Kennedy Waweru and I will allow him to say good morning to you before we further delve into the interview. Uh, good morning, mm -hmm. audience. I'm Sakenedi Waweru, the founder of Maestros, Alpha Maestros, mm -hmm. a marketing company, mm -hmm. and also the deputy director of Maestros Leadership mm -hmm. Team, mm -hmm. uh, based in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And I'm an event organizer, I'm a mm -hmm. part-time DJ, mm -hmm. I'm also a social media influence. Mm -hmm. I'm a jack of all trades, let's just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it kind of is true. Yes, yes. Okay, you said that your journey when it came to, to marketing and social media began with events. So can yes. I understand the background? Okay, after finishing campus on 2015, mm -hmm. I pursued DJing mm -hmm. and events. Mm -hmm. And upon doing it for a year, I saw there was a, 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 gap, a gap whereby... Mm -hmm linking the client with with an event organizer was a problem mm -hmm. so i decided on to market to help market between the dj or the event organizers mm -hmm. or somebody who needs the client or a tent or mm -hmm. something like that mm -hmm. so I, I i i started the alpha maestros mm -hmm. whereby i could link up different people mm -hmm. by now it has grown i'm doing i've diversified mm -hmm. i'm also linking up people wait wait before we go into the diversification i would like to do i would like us to talk about your action plan yes, when yes. you identified that gap what was the first thing that you did did you write down anything did you write any plans any goals um did you set aside any money did you did you talk to someone in specific who has done it what was your action plan like when you decided when you saw this gap exists mm. i talked to my 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 life coach oh mm -hmm. people who i look up to people mm -hmm. who train me concerning life mm -hmm. and the issues of life mm -hmm. so they advised and they saw it was a good idea mm -hmm. and they helped me also in sourcing of funds mm -hmm. for the startup mm -hmm. i did a business plan mm -hmm. working with the if working with various budgets for djing mm -hmm. because i had i had been there for a year mm -hmm. so i knew maybe this will do this can do mm -hmm. and i also increased the the equip the equipments mm -hmm. and all that so when once i started out mm -hmm. it was an easy ride mm -hmm. but with time I, I got to learn and also to explore mm -hmm. and to grow mm -hmm. into different different grounds now apart from entertainment so so because somebody mentored you you decided you wanted to mentor others yes, yes. okay so tell us about your journey when it came to mentorship because uh your your uh maestro um sorry the leadership the leadership thing that you're doing you yes, motivate yes. and you encourage people yes, so yes. please let us know how you got introduced to that and how do you even get the confidence to stand in front of people and tell them you know this is the way <coughs> mm. so ever since i was in I was a young guy in campus. Mm -hmm. I saw that I could influence people. Mm -hmm. I could go and talk to somebody and somebody. How, how do you measure influence? Okay, influence. Mm -hmm. It's easy. I can come and talk to you. Mm -hmm. And maybe the conversation that we have, mm -hmm. you can tell me something that maybe you've never said to anybody else. Mm -hmm. Or you can talk to me about something and say, by the way, you did help me. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that for example if you're not at work mm -hmm. people will people the next day people will be like oh, where were you where are you so it means oh. that <laughs> <laughs> it means okay, uh -huh. that people can recognize you mm -hmm. that you are somebody who is influential in your in your workplace for example okay so now after you discovered yes that you have influence uh -huh, carry on now so after i did that mm -hmm. i knew that i was destined to be not just a face in the crowd mm -hmm. but somebody who i can I can be a standout mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. So upon finishing, you know, the hassles of looking for a job, mm -hmm. I decided, ah, this is not my life. Uh -huh. So that's when I did venture in music. Which Wait, comma, scratch that. So um, let's go back to campus a little bit. What is it that you had studied that you were going out to look for a job to do? Uh, in campus, I did procurement. Uh huh. And upon finishing the scandals and all that, so oh. <laughs> people are required to do more, mm -hmm. more, of, more of studies. Mm -hmm. And I was a graduate. Mm -hmm. So I did try a couple of interviews, but I guess I didn't have passion for it as mm -hmm. much as I did for music. Oh, uh -huh. So once I, I developed music and also 
talking to people and getting people's needs, I, I knew that this was something that I could venture because I could talk to somebody and somebody could say that you're supposed to be a counselor. I'm like, ah, no, 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 I'm not, I'm mm -hmm. not even in that field, mm -hmm. but let me do something. Then the fact that I, I, I did DJ, mm -hmm. I wanted to be, for example, if I am a DJ, I get a show on this platform. It is so interesting to mention that you're a DJ because you're all suited up and I'm trying to imagine I you know, on a I deck know, I know. like that. But anyway. Mm -hmm. So I, people will, people would recognize me mm -hmm. and that will give me a platform to change and to empower young people. Mm -hmm. So I came across Maestro's leadership in 2017 is when I started. Mm -hmm. 20, uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. And upon that, it is, it is, a, it, let me just a short profile about it. Mm -hmm. It seeks to to educate mm -hmm. and to empower and to equip with skills and trainings, mm -hmm. young people and also resources mm -hmm. to better their community. It may be socially, economically, politically. Mm -hmm. So there are various platforms, businesses, entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. finance, mm -hmm. leadership, the one now for if you want to go to politics mm -hmm. or you want to be an owner of an enterprise. Mm -hmm. So I saw it as a good opportunity. Mm -hmm. At that, I was still a member, mm -hmm. but I did grow mm -hmm. in influence and also in skills mm -hmm. until I became a trainer. Mm -hmm. And then I was made a deputy regional director mm -hmm. now for the all of East Africa mm -hmm. last year around August. Mm -hmm. And since then... That is quite an achievement. That's quite mm -hmm. a milestone. How did that make you feel? Uh, it did make me feel great mm -hmm. and at least honored that what I'm doing is not in vain mm -hmm. because it's easy that when you you're, when you have taken a different route mm -hmm. to see maybe and also to hear the voices people telling ah do you think this is the right thing why mm -hmm. don't you go look for a job like other people mm -hmm. so at least when you get the 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 accolades you're like ah I'm doing the right thing and I'm I'm changing also lives that's mm -hmm. the most important thing mm -hmm. yes. I like that. So you actually managed to to climb your way up the career ladder yes, yes. and get to that particular point. Um, now that you've talked about how maestro leadership and you've actually climbed to that point of regional director, um, is there anybody in particular that can stand up and say that because of you, I am who I am and what it, uh, I've been motivated by you? Can you tell me about one of your the people you've been mentoring? Who has been your best uh, so far? Who is, who is the most accomplished? Who is the one you feel the most proud of having left your hands? Okay, the la the I will talk about the last one because mm -hmm. it's easy to to remember things of last year. Yes, there's this particular girl that I met in he, she was in campus, mm -hmm. was in the Muliro. Mm -hmm. I met her in last year December mm -hmm. in one of the trainings that I do hold. Mm -hmm. It was at Memorial Park at that time. Mm -hmm. So she was kind of low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. You see, there there were girls. May not even girls, young people generally. Yeah. And she's in first year, 19 year old. Mm -hmm. So by the time she was attending it, n she was in holiday at that particular time. Mm -hmm. She just returned to school last week. Mm -hmm. So the girl, by the time she was leaving, mm -hmm. she was so motivated. Mm -hmm. she, she even sends me texts. For example, she couldn't have the courage to, to stand before people. Mm -hmm. But there was this, I, 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 I you know what I normally do at times? Mm -hmm. I send people songs. Mm -hmm. So there's this particular song that she sh so loved it, mm -hmm. a gospel song. Mm -hmm. And she was able to gather courage. Which song is this? It's good to give the artist <laughs> props, you know? No, she's, she's not even a Kenyan. It's, mm -hmm. She's called, it, it, the song is called Everything Is Well. Everything Is Well. By Jadel. Mm -hmm. I, I, by the way, I do love the, the, the song also. Mm -hmm. So... She, t she she did send me a text on Saturday mm -hmm. that she will do it that she will perform in front of people now the CU group on Sunday mm -hmm. and she did marvelously well mm -hmm. and today she was sending me text people also want a song people encouraged me mm -hmm. so that was an achievement because this is a young girl mm -hmm. who is is going places and this the little step that he has made right now is mm -hmm. towards the right direction so I'm happy for her mm -hmm. and also for the people and also for the link ups that I've had. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like the fact that you mentioned diversifying into things, but congratulations for that achievement, oh, by you. the way. Yeah. But before even I go into your diversification business process, um, you've talked about motivating someone to be able to go to stand in front of people. Have you always had confidence yourself as you were, as you were to speak in front of people? How was the first time you, how do you deal with the, with the pressure of being in front of people? I just want to know where the confidence is coming from as well. Okay, S I went, when I was 
some, somehow young in secondary and also starting out in campus, mm -hmm. I was very shy. Oh. But I could approach one person or two. Mm -hmm. But standing in front of a class, mm -hmm. it took me a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I could, I could talk with you, I could talk with somebody, so I became familiar with the faces. Mm -hmm. And also in school, you know, you are supposed to maybe present a project to people. Yes. So I could do so, but I will be so much focused on finishing <laughs> not really because <laughs> you want to get out of there yeah. yes uh -huh. not really on what i'm saying mm -hmm. I'm, I'm i'm saying to them mm -hmm. but the help i've told you that i have life coach mm -hmm. life coaches and also mentors mm -hmm. they could give me these platforms and mm -hmm. whenever i could do them after that you see the way a parent calls a child yes i could be scolded mm -hmm. you could think that maybe you school dead for yes, being shy Whoa. no no you <laughs> see it's a it's a training and yes yes and mm -hmm. it's for example a military mm -hmm. when you are in a camp when you have dedicated your life that 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 is what you're going to do mm -hmm. you don't care about the scolding or the punishments or the discipline because that's the so it's, I was it's, it's part of the curriculum so i was passionate <laughs> about it uh -huh. so i was not like oh now let me back out now mm -hmm. i was i was willing and ready to be able to gather courage mm -hmm. and confidence to stand in front of people mm -hmm. and with time i learned i learned i learned even now i'm still learning mm -hmm. and with time it's just easy now i can stand in front of people okay i would like to understand um you you congratulations at least mm -hmm. now i know and you 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 can stand in front of people and you've and you've helped other people stand in front of people but now let's go back into the business of the matter um you 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 call you your one of your titles is financial trainer mm. i'd like to understand where this came from mm. mm -hmm. so my my biggest goal mm -hmm. or my biggest the biggest achievement that I want to make mm -hmm. is to be part of reducing unemployment in Kenya. Uh -huh. And it's not just about giving people jobs, mm -hmm. it's also helping them to create jobs. Mm -hmm. And I once did that, mm -hmm. and I could see people with big goals, but their problem, all they could say is that I lack capital, or yes. where can I get the capital the from? Money. Yes. Uh, so I realized that when I was in campus, I could study a lot of books concerning finances, mm -hmm. motivational, inspirational. Mm -hmm. I decided ah, I have a lot inside of me mm -hmm. that the world needs to know mm -hmm. or the people around me at that time needs to know. Mm -hmm. So I started out with them mm -hmm. and with a small group that I could find. Mm -hmm. And also now I've grown into a wider base. Mm -hmm. So I'm now doing the financial part of it. In fact, even today I have a session in Kiambu. Mm -hmm. Oh. later on in the afternoon mm -hmm. uh, so i do i do train them because you see it is said that the level of money or the level of life that you are living is equivalent to the knowledge that you have what so if i'm broke it means i'm not as knowledgeable as i thought <laughs> yes it's a very interesting way to compare the things. quality of life uh -huh. is also the quality of your mind mm -hmm. how i how i view is how you are thinking mm -hmm. where you are in life mm -hmm. is where is where your thinking was maybe last week or last year mm -hmm. because towards the end of the year people are hey, what will i do in january yes. how will my january be so that's what they're thinking so in january or in february starting mm -hmm. that's what they were thinking if they were scared about employing uh, about getting money that mm -hmm. is all they, they will be doing about so it mm -hmm. will reflect outside yeah so i seek to change their mindset mm -hmm. and also maestros the 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 trainings also in maestros mm -hmm. did help me because the trainers were so much focused in mm -hmm. renewing our mind mm -hmm. you see you are you are you are now a grown up mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but when you are when you are a child mm -hmm. the way you have been brought up if you if you are told if you find your name was this is is the way you knew your name if yeah. you are told your birthday was, in, was is in this date <laughs> is that how is you knew date, yeah. mm -hmm. so the way you are developed mm -hmm. it may be right for you mm -hmm. but not 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 a good way for you in in your career or maybe in the future mm -hmm. so with the big with the goal that you have we try and make you see that this is how you can you can reframe your mind mm -hmm. so that you will not just look out and say what is the government doing about me mm -hmm. or what is the society mm -hmm. so you you are the one who brings out now solutions to the world I see. personally i call myself a solution bring out you are the fixer, problem solver. Yes. I'm glad you mentioned the government. Um, in your line of work, um, can we can we expect to see you in a few years in in, in politics, involved in politics? Would you like any leadership position? 
not not really in politics mm -hmm. but i would i i, I would prefer mm -hmm. in business world mm -hmm. in the in the in the in the business world more so mm -hmm. and also maybe more of a more of a, a person who is known for maybe an investor or mm -hmm. somebody who gives opportunities mm -hmm. because it's not just you see the, the people that is in government mm -hmm. they are there but they are only for a short period mm -hmm. the people who run a country or a nation Eish. are not even in government mm -hmm. they are like for example the ceo the safaricom ceo yes. equity mm -hmm. these are people who their companies are doing big mm -hmm. if the government sees that there's a policy that makes safaricom not function correctly mm -hmm. they'll mm -hmm. go and correct it because of safaricom mm -hmm. so i'll be more focused on that mm -hmm. but not in politics mm -hmm. uh politics is limited and also mm -hmm. is somehow you're not you're not yes. you're not fully in control yes you're not fully in control mm -hmm. then the system the government the system itself mm -hmm. not the people mm -hmm. is very corrupt they yes. keep on talking about cartels cartels mm -hmm. so you elect a new a new member a new governor mm -hmm. and he or she still talks about cartels so mm -hmm. you're like who are these cartels so, so who are <laughs> these who are in control you'd rather be the cartel yes. leader <laughs> <laughs> but on the good <laughs> side on the good side yes okay so where do you see alpha maestros in the next five years like in the next five years who are you going to be or where do you see yourself uh, in the next five years mm. i see myself mm -hmm. connecting the whole of africa oh. or even the whole of the world mm -hmm. because there's so much that people need mm -hmm. but they don't know about it mm -hmm. is like for example if you have a thousand dollars a thousand million dollars in your bank account mm -hmm. and the another person has it if mm -hmm. i tell you about it mm -hmm. you will there's a way that you will behave than the one who I, have, I haven't told about yes so i'm seeking out to tell people that they have mm -hmm. that they have something in them mm -hmm. and they, they can be the best if they only take out the time to find out for themselves mm -hmm. and also to develop themselves personal development personal development mm. not only just trying to accomplish tasks yeah. out here living like an ant working day and night day and night and you're not doing anything to develop okay so for somebody at home who is watching um you've said a lot of motivational things i don't even know like um what 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 there is to add but for somebody at home who is interested in following the path of the, the career path that you have chosen which is also life coaching marketing um what words of advice of encouragement can you give them what are some of the challenges that you went through that you overcame Okay, one of the challenges uh, maybe is not being very conversant to the market. Oh, uh -huh. You may want to maybe to pursue fashion mm -hmm. and design, mm -hmm. but you're not very conversant to the market. Mm -hmm. So f take out time to study the market, mm -hmm. take out time also to study yourself. Mm -hmm. And also, you see, people, people view like, if I want to be an entrepreneur or if I want to venture in this business, mm -hmm. it's not appropriate for me to be in school. Maybe you see like school is a waste of time, mm -hmm. but also take time to study. There mm -hmm. are people who you will not meet if you are not knowledgeable mm -hmm. to meet them. I like that. Please, please <laughs> say that one more time. <laughs> there, there are people, people. There mm -hmm. are people places you cannot go mm -hmm. if you don't have the knowledge mm -hmm. concerning it. Mm -hmm. So take out time to study, mm -hmm. develop yourself, develop people around you, study the market and when whenever be confident also in yourself believe in yourself believe in god everything is well don't don't struggle so much and people you see people live in a world whereby i don't if i come here i don't want to talk to you mm -hmm. because i'm on my phone mm -hmm. so interact with people that the person who is sitting next to you may be the person who will connect you to bigger bigger plans or bigger ideas or bigger markets or even bigger opportunities mm -hmm. the next time so being so be, being social and also being cautious of your environment not only being inside your head most of the times yes, yes. Oh, okay i like that i like that i like the fact that you also told them to stay in school you know uh, the, mm -hmm. the funny thing about entrepreneurship tuesdays is we bring people here and um they say that yes they are they are succeeding where they are but almost uh 80 percent of them are doing something completely different compared to what they studied so many people at home have the idea of ah maybe 
It's, this a degree or these things are not important. Hey, big joke. No, 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 no. <laughs> they are very important. I like the fact that you said stay in school, get those certificates. There are some places you will not go without those certificates. So please make sure you stay in school as much as you're also following your passions and your talent. Thank you so much, Sir Kennedy Wawero. Th thank you for having me. Yes. Uh, Entrepreneurship Tuesday is about to tap out right now. You have been watching myself and Barry Moses representing for at Joy Muchache. Please make sure you do not go anywhere. You're watching Y254. See you tomorrow on Why in the Morning, Queen's Wednesday.